Hey guys, welcome to another lesson of Pro Teachers Noob. Today I have joining me with me for the first time on my show. Well, mostly the first time. You were here for the 75th for a very brief time, but I got Hood of Justice with me. Hey everybody, how's it going? Yeah, I was on there for a little bit and I bounced that way uh, Bianca could be on. But yep. yeah, as far as doing anything like this, uh, Nerd Ed is the only one that I've done a video one on one with, so you're the second. Yep. I feel honored. I really do. Today, I'm honored going... also. <laughs> Thank you. Today, we're going over one of the best Superman Elseworlds. One that had a long time in the making, and it's a brilliant idea, especially with how it's executed. Superman Red Sun. What if um, just 12 hours had passed and Superman had landed on, on um, in Russia instead of Kansas? Now, it turns out there's more to the story than we think, but we won't know that till the very end. Now, what's your history with Superman? Uh, my history with Superman is the movies. Uh, mm -hmm. Pretty much haven't haven't dived into any comic book with it, but as far as anything, it's, you know. Um, just to point out, just to point out, dude, your audio keeps going in and out. All right, is that any better? Yep, uh, much better. Okay. Um, it could be the audio level. It might be, uh, you might have it set to auto adjustment. Okay, let me check. All right. Um, I don't know okay. if they do that. Um, Does this yeah, sound automatically, better? Automatically adjust my mic volume. I think that could be it. Just keep talking. Just keep talking. And okay. Able... okay. Uh, yeah, back to that. Uh, as far as anything that I've had to do with Superman, um, like I said, I haven't read the comics, but I've seen the movies. You know, uh, Superman 78, you know, all of them. So that's mm -hmm. my background. All right. And you're sounding good so far. It dipped a little bit, but for the, not that badly this time. All so, right. So, yeah, though. But this, um, I, I've already recorded another one. The previous episode was Bianca, which is Superman True Brit, which is what if you land in the UK? It's very British. And I personally did not care for it. But this one, you could definitely tell Mark Millar loved Superman. Now, this oh, is still Millar during his, I'm going to make everything edgy and shock value days but here it works oh does it yes because awesome. uh he still reigns himself in because it's superman it's kind of like garth ennis in that regard because you know garth ennis he hates superheroes except for superman oh really i did not know that superman is the one hero he loves above all else if he, there was an issue of hitman where he also treated him with such reverence and care that you would not expect from the man so he likes he likes uh what do you want to say normal superman he doesn't like dark superman or something like that right he'll use dark superman like he did in um um for as far as garth ennis in the boys but yes with, and with mark millar he has not usually done a dark superman as far as i know he might do oh, okay. superman could people with superman like powers but they weren't given the superman orange in fact he did superior which is more of a Wish fulfillment Superman mixed with Shazam a little bit. Oh, I've never heard of that. That sounds pretty cool. You could do that one on a future date. But yeah, let's yeah. get started with this. Oh, now, hell yeah. That sounds funny. Yep. Now, the first chunk, of, uh, first issue and a half of this, the artwork is done by Dave Johnson, who's, do, who's on the cover art here. His, he was done because a lot of his art style feels like propaganda pieces. Like, you could definitely tell right here. Oh, yeah. Right at the beginning. Yep, now he did not finish the book. A different artist would take over, but it still would feel consistent. Okay. Now, now we open up right off the bat. You already tell things are different because Lois is married to Lucer. Oh, wow. She's married. Oh, well, I guess if he didn't show up, yeah. Yep. Lois Lane. I mean, Lucer. Lois Lucer. Don't tell me such Luther. a jerk, Chief. It's 6 a.m. and some of, us, some of us have social lives. No, we haven't heard the radio. What's happened? Who knows, sweetheart? Is it a Russian just invaded Idaho or J. Edgar Hoover likes to dress in ladies' um, lingerie <laughs> because Washington just called and promised us the story of the century. Ike's making a broadcast live from the Oval Office at lunchtime on a matter of grave national importance. What's the inside scoop? Well, between you and me, kid, rumor has it the Soviets just developed a brand new kind of super weapon. My fellow Americans, it has been the duty of this great office to make public those developments which may affect our standing as a free and democratic nation. I regret to inform you that such a development took place this morning. 
The Soviet authorities today re released to the world secret government pictures of a costumed individual more effective than our hydrogen bomb. An alien Superman committed to communist ideals whose very existence threatens to alter our position as the world's superpower forever. This afternoon, I shall defy to Helensky to discuss this crisis with my fellow NATO leaders and decide upon a measured response to the situation. In the meantime, I, I would like to issue a request for calm and for calm, and I hope that you may join me in a prayer that our predicament is not as terrible as it seems. Yeah, okay, that's like that's yeah. like game over. I mean, he's a communist, you know. That's it's, in yeah. theory that it's game over. Well, except here again. Here's the thing that we're going to find out through all of this. This is not going to be oh, American good and, and Russia bad. Millard does not do that. He goes very gray with this. This is a Superman. He still is Superman. His ideals are just, uh, I won't even say twisted, but skewed due okay. to believing in the Russian way. Ah, uh, so he's still, he's still in That's what makes core. it so brilliant. He's Superman. Okay. That's what makes it so brilliant. He's still a good man, but he's looking at through different lenses that makes his actions less than ideal. That's so cool. Yeah. Um, great Caesar's ghost Superman spotted in Denver Superman spotted in Nebraska Superman seen hovering over a field in Arkansas what the hell's going on here Lois it's like the whole damn country seeing red capes under their beds Pentagon's just confirmed three more superpowers chief strength speed and flight receptionist also uh, added super breasts when I offered her 20 bucks super breasts what in God's name is super breasts it's everybody <laughs> on this planet going nuts <laughs> so yeah, everyone's freaking out again makes sense right you're just like yeah. oh especially during the height of the cold war of course it makes sense everybody and their uncle is scared to death like just in the base but add superman super communist it's working it's under horrible. stalin exactly look up in the sky it's a bird it's a plane it's superman Superman, strange visitor from another world who can change the course of mighty rivers, bend steel in his bare hand, and who, as the champion of the common worker, fights a never-ending battle for Stalin, socialism, and the international expansion of the Warsaw Pact. Superman, ride of the Soviet state, symbol of our military might. Ah, give me a break. Who writes this stuff? Let our <laughs> enemies beware. This is there is only one superpower now. I don't know, but I love the fact how they make him gray there. How well, everything else is well, colored, black and white gray. TV. Oh, that makes so much sense. I it's feel so end. stupid. Back in those yeah. days before color was a thing. I get it now. I feel so stupid. Oh, I, <laughs> now again, I really like this Lex. This is a different Lex. This is a Lex who has grown up and has had no obsession with Superman until his adult life. Oh, so he's okay. not the same Lex as not yet. The he other will one. Be. Okay. He will okay. Be. Board eleven. Right. Knight to F seven. Checkmate. Board twelve. Rook to B three. Checkmate. Board 14, Queen to F4, checkmate. Thank you for a highly stimulating coffee break, gentlemen. Board 7 played particularly well this afternoon. I was so distracted from the matchabilial ill principle for a moment that I almost turned two pages at once by mistake. One moment, young man. Just let me... Oh, that, that's Jimmy, by the way. He's a government official here. Oh, okay. Uh, just let me switch off this portable tape recorder I designed in the washroom this morning. I'm teaching myself Urdu to keep my mind busy while I'm reading and playing chess with the monkeys. I assume you're Agent James Olsen, of course. Let's think about that. He's playing chess with multiple people at once while we're listening to a reporter, reportable tape recorder that he just created while also learning a new language. Oh, man. So that, he's still, that is so Lex. So he's still Lex, though, that pretentious whatever, I'm better than yeah, you. Yeah, but okay. But right now he hasn't been challenged at all, so he's bored. When did when did this come out? Oh, this came out in um. Hold on, let me double check. Well, this has been in the works for a long time, but I think oh, it doesn't say here. I think around two thousand and three. I think okay, because they got Jimmy. Well, that's Sorry. fine. They got Jimmy Olsen. Oh, you're good. They got Jimmy Olsen as a government agent, and that's kind of how he was in Man of Steel. Also, that's why. Oh, no, yeah, two thousand and three, long okay. before um, anything Snyder did. Okay, that's what I was wondering about. Yeah, trust me, this was long before that. So, but anyway, but notice though, he's realizing he can't read um, read lips, which yeah. is, uh, which again leads to a joke later. But yeah, 
Okay. I've had an appointment, Agent Olsen. Now, please, step into my lab and let me show you where I am with the anti-Superman deterrent you're paying such ludicrous amounts of money for. Holy smokes, it's even worse than I thought. The greatest mind in America, and you won't even let them in the building. And all the garbage you keep ordering, all these puzzles and games. When are you actually going to start working on this thing, Doctor? Because it doesn't look like you've done a thing here in three damn months. My subconscious is working, Agent Olsen. Isn't that enough? And the pu puzzles lubricate the cogs of my brain. Genius mm -hmm. doesn't work to some timetable, you know. Science and necessity dictate my every action. Not some dreary little Washington accountant. The president isn't going to be happy about this, Dr. Luther. To tell, and to tell you the truth, I don't even know how I'm going to break it to him without losing my job. Just tell him he can use this formula I scribbled together to balance the federal budget. If he leaves me all alone, uh, all alone I'll give him a permanent cure for inflation, too. What? You balance the budget? Just like that? You balance the budget? Just like that! No, I gave him the formula to balance the budget, young man. The treasury will have to punch in the numbers. Solving problems is just like eating or breathing for me. And this Superman you're also worried about is just another problem. Rest assured, I'll be in touch when I've cracked it. <laughs> Again, same, old, same old Lex, just the, like little bits and pieces there, huh? Yeah, but this is giving us a Lex who is, he practices what he's preaching by saying, I could fix all the problems. And he's willing to do it at, at, awesome. one, at one point. That's awesome. I love seeing a Lux like this. At first, oh yeah. At first, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Why is okay. the volume turned down so low, honey? It's a quiz show. You love quiz shows. I'm teaching myself how to lip read, Lois. It only just occurred to me this afternoon that I didn't know how. You can turn it back up if it's bothering you. What's bothering me is talking to someone between chess moves. Don't tell me. Another computer system you designed on your way home from work? I can't help it, darling. People are just too easy to beat. Is that the first edition of the morning paper? Here's the other thing. This is a loser who has the charm and charisma of post-crisis Lex, but he never went into business, so he's not tainted by easy by corruption. And as we know, Lois did date him. So again, it's all this different Lex and Lexus rolled into one, and it makes it easy to accept why Lois would fall and marry for him and not see like, oh, he's an evil man because he's not evil. Yeah, yeah. Has, the, the potential for evil has not been unleashed yet. Uh, so the the uh, the when egg... he does become evil. He doesn't become fully evil. He just becomes Superman's counterpart, and is willing to do all that's necessary. But it's letting his ego dictate things. So uh, okay, all right, that makes sense. Who is doing everything for the greater good? But he doesn't. But he doesn't have to do it under the guise of "I am Lex Leeds and Luther, greatest criminal mastermind of our time." And I, you know, like, no, he hasn't so reached got, that point of being superior to everyone because he's content as it so right now. He's got like a wall in his head that keeps on crumbling, and it's gonna fall sooner or later, more or less. Exactly. Right now, he is content. Okay. He doesn't have a great challenge, so he feels like might as well just make the best of it. <laughs> But yeah, so eventually then he soon gets in, like Daily Planet, Sputnik, Metropolis, Superman, Space Race, Sputnik, Globe, Sputnik, Metropolis. Good grief! How could I have been such an idiot? When is it, Lex? What's wrong? This is Lex Luthor, Star Labs, clearance code 1350 Bravo. I want to speak to the president, and I don't care if he's in a meeting. This is incredible and indescribably more important, young lady. What's going on, Lex? What and what's happened? Have you figured out a way to beat Superman or something? I'm sorry, darling, but I'm afraid that is official government information on need-to-know capacity now. Ike, Lex here. Sir, I need 100 technicians, $10 million, and permission to crash a Soviet satellite in a highly populated area. Of course you can <laughs> think for a minute. <laughs> of course you can think for a minute. Yep. Kill millions oh, of people. I made quite an impression on the 14 weeks since I made my journey from the farmlands to Moscow. Because here's the other thing. He was still raised by a good family. Oh, he was? He was still a good family now, now, in yeah, Russia? Basically, communist versions of Ma and Pa. Oh, that's cool. So, again, that's why he's still a good man. He wasn't raised by the government. It's the morals, his morals, his foundation. Yeah. Some still thought of me as a trick of the light or an urban myth, but each new day saw another super feat or some death-defying rescue. In my more introspective moments, I have even wondered if people were behaving more carelessly in the hopes that they might catch a glimpse of their gaudy circus clown. Comrade Security, this is priority alert. We have lost control of Sputnik 2, and the satellite is plummeting towards Earth's atmosphere. 
the Americans, they must have sabotaged us. How else could a satellite just change course like that? Light trajectory looks like it's heading for a populated area, somewhere in the upmost atmosphere, north of Peru, north of Cuba. Oh my God, it's coming down in America. They called me a soldier, but that just wasn't true. I was never a soldier. A soldier always follows order. orders. A soldier knows and hates his enemy. A soldier only fights and dies for his own people. I just fight for what's right. Wow. Uh, did, the, did the did the art change with the last couple of pages? No, no, I said. Oh, this okay. By the second issue is where it'll change. This okay. is all Dave Johnson for the first. Okay. And Sputnik 2 weighs 5,000 pounds. This mass multiplied by an ex- Now, I should point out, this Millar leans more towards the Silver Age era of powers. Not full on, but a lot okay. more so. Okay. This, this mass multiplied by acceleration factor of 500 meters per second. So super brain, in other words, would have delivered a force awesome. powerful enough to level the entire city. In hindsight, there are so many ways this predicament might have been solved. I could have been, I could have vaporized it with my heat vision, slowed it. Now he's, all of this narration is in retrospect. Okay. This is not in the moment. This is all Superman way in the future, thinking back on everything. Okay. Okay. That makes a lot more sense now. <laughs> yep. Even atomized it with the craft of my of a calculated blow. Instead, I chose the most exciting action. The powers were still new to me then, you understand. Exactly three seconds after hitting the roof of the newspaper office, I realized the damage done to the building's suspension. Metropolis was alive with noise again, but I could still hear loose bricks starting to fall two miles west. A cluster of support cables groaned and snapped. People below screamed for someone to save them. Not my people, but I never refuse a cry for help. All the lies they spread about me, the propaganda they engineered at the height of the Cold War, none of it mattered for a while I, on that bright afternoon, just for a single moment, they realized I was here to save them. And even caught the balloon. That's so cool. Make sure you give it to the kid to make the kid feel better. Oh, my God. Six million lives spared and an incident that might have sparked a war averted. And my most potent memory of that day was five and a half foot tall and wearing Chanel number five. She felt it, too. <sighs> I know she did, from the increase in her pulse rate to the micron of extra perspiration on her skin. But neither of us could act on its impulse. Not while she had a gold ring on her third finger and a creased photograph of a somber red head and headed scientist in her purse. Centuries later, after a thousand interpretations of this meeting, a famous poet would write an alternate history of the world where Lois Luthor and I became lovers. His story would go on to win the Pulitzer Prize and become the biggest selling fictional book of all time. Even now... <laughs> I still, I still don't know what appeals to people about this notion. What chord it struck with the public imagination. That's the other reason why she's married beforehand. So he doesn't have to deal with those Superman and Lois relationship. Because that's not important here. Yeah, it's not important there. But it's classic Superman. He made sure that the kid was content before he made sure anything else was done. I think that's so cool. He took care of the kid first. like he always did. Exactly. Magnificent, isn't he? Absolutely magnificent. I knew those these random acts of heroism wouldn't be confined to the parameters of Mother Russia. It's such a shame he works for the other side. I honestly believe that Superman and I would have been the best of friends if he popped up in America. Ha! What made you so sure he'd actually be able to save us, Dr. Luther? <laughs> mathematics, Olsen. Pure mathematics. Now make sure they raise that satellite from the water and precisely as I described. The information he left on that hall is essential especially if our dear friends in the White House expect me to build him a Superman of our own. <laughs> I love Easter eggs. I love when they, when they when say they that kind of stuff. When they reference the other universe, yeah. Yep, I love it. Yep. We, weeks passed, and thousands rescued later. They decided to throw a welcome parade for me. I remember every single silly detail of that day in Red Square, every face in the crowd, every pimple on every face of every cheering worker, their poor, confused expressions, uh, and as his champion from the farmlands who couldn't stand still for more than 10 seconds at a time. Don't tell me there's another emergency, Superman. A chemical plant on fire 3,000 miles west of Vlad um, Vladivostok. Comrade Stalin, just give me 10 or 15 minutes. Oh, wow, okay, but don't be any longer. This Superman day thing is supposed to be for you, you know. He's got the attention span of a spastic two-year-old, hasn't he? Imagine not even being able to sit through your own damn parade. Well, that's <laughs> in, what's he supposed to do, Captain? Stand there and grin like an idiot when you can hear people screaming for their lives? No, but he could show you a little more respect, Comrade Stalin. I can't believe you really clasped into your chest like this. 
How could you bring this alien from the Ukraine into our inner circle to this degree? Because they love him, my boy. He was raised to believe in everything I stand for, and he makes Russia feel as indestructible as he is. But I'm the one you've been grooming for the top. I've been preparing for this since I was eight years old. If Superman succeeds you, he could be there for a million years, for all we know. Who cares? Well, yeah. <laughs> he made the, he, you made chief of the NKVD by 25, Piotr. I'd hardly describe that as an underachievement. So what you're saying, that, and so what are you saying? That it all ends here? That I peak before 30? No, I'm saying you should watch your tongue and remember who you're speaking to, my jealous little captain. Bear in mind, you're only one of a number of illegitimate children I have out there, you know. Yeah, I don't think Stalin is going to take very much the criticism to him. <laughs> no, but I guess I do understand. I like this how this Stalin, he's like, go ahead. Cause he's like, yeah, I like it when he says, what's he supposed to do? Stand and grin like an idiot? Like, that's no, that's exactly asking right. for trouble. He's that's smart exactly enough to right. know. You don't have a guy who can listen and hear and know this pain. Just let it happen. You let him go do it to keep him content and contained. Exactly. Otherwise, he will turn on you if you just be like, no, this is more important. Oh, and then it turns out because Russia became the dominant power, not America, the, let's just say that um, Semiscura made first contact with Russia instead. Oh, man. <laughs> and there's Jake in Stalingrad and a tidal wave near the port of Odessa. My God, no wonder Superman missed the first two courses. Of course, Hungary wants to join us now, Hippolyta. The Warsaw Pact is attractive beyond words now that we boast Superman as our alternative to nuclear strategy. Believe me, Paradise Island would be far more suited to the alliance with us than those desperate and greedy little men in those horrible NATO backwaters. Well, I must admit, the Soviet record on women's rights is most impressive, Comrade Stalin. Your human rights record, however, is another matter entirely. I think it might be prudent for Semiscura to remain neutral for a little while, at least. Not, not too neutral, I hope. That beautiful daughter of yours seems to be getting along splendid with Superman. I thought perhaps that you and I might get similarly equated upstairs in the presidential suite. Please. Don't oh embarrass yourself, Joseph. Maybe if you were 5,000 years older. That's oh, bird! Dead. about a bird? <laughs> He's old now, enough as it this. is. Now look at this. Look at them just hovering. What's That's so you? cool. You look so sad. I hope this isn't anything to do with my terrible Russian. And no, not at all, Diana. You're actually word perfectly. Perfect. Huh. It's just this whole Superman Day fuss. Parties and paradises just aren't really me. I know what you mean. There's always something being held in my honor back on Paradise Island, too. So I know how tiresome those things are. Well, I hope tonight isn't too boring for you. Great, Hera, no. Not in the slightest. I'm actually having a wonderful time. I mean, think about it. How often do I get to meet someone like me? That's so I see some. So she's falling from Now, this was a complaint other people have that Super Wonder Woman is too much of a smitten young teenage girl. But it's like... It makes sense here. But it does. I mean, that's 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 what they're portraying. I mean Yeah, but that's why when they did the Red Sun Superman um animated movie, they decided to be, oh no, she's a lesbian. Everyone on uh, um, Paradise Island is a lesbian, so they can have it be her mindset has nothing to do with being in love with Superman, which is that's uh, stupid. Unfortunately, James Day so, Matthias wrote that, which I'm like, I think he was given orders for that particular plot point. Oh, really? I think well, I have nothing so, to prove it. So in your opinion, go ahead. I'm sorry. saying, Damon, 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 Damon is, is such a great writer. That doesn't seem like something he would just shove in. Yeah, no, I get it. Cause that's kind of forced. You know what I mean? If he, yeah. he was probably told, but in your opinion, who do you think appreciated Superman more? The Russian people or the American people? You mean during this? Yes. Right now, the Russians, of course, the Americans are too scared of him. But no, no. Yeah. But I mean, in, in contrast, do you think the Russian people in this appreciated him more than the American people in the regular Superman? Oh, comic? no, no, no. Americans appreciate Superman way more. Okay. Okay. That's Definitely. what I was curious about. Here, they're appreciating because of the Russian propaganda pushing it all. I get it now. He's, all right. he's proving it. Now he's proving that propaganda, but that propaganda is what's instigated it. Whereas they Superman don't... in the regular, the real Superman in America did it all through his actions. I get it. They just look at him as a machine for the for the for the they cause. 
Yeah, for the cause. Now, again, people still look up to him, obviously, the working class, because the propaganda works so well and he matches the propaganda. It's okay. not propaganda that's a lie. It's propaganda right. that's the truth, but being pushed harder. That totally makes sense. Yep. Now, of course, then we see, um, um, again, just them talking, like, it, uh, him and Stalin are talking a bit, and again, it's making it very clear that um, what's going on. Now, of course, um, Piotr and Roslov, like, Stalin just doesn't even care about him, but Superman realize, you know, hears him out there. So he's like, excuse me a moment, comrade. But yeah, Stalin just doesn't really care, obviously. Yeah. What are you doing here, Superman? I thought you were setting up with, and they were setting you up with the Amazon princess tonight. Or am I wrong as usual? You weren't at the party. And I just wonder what happened to you, Piotr. You've been acting quite irrational lately, and I'm generally concerned. What are you talking about, you idiot? You don't even know me. You would, and, and, you, and would you please stop fixing things? You're driving me out of my mind. I only fix things that are broken, Piotr. Now, please, take a seat. Let's just sit down and talk about whatever's getting you so upset here. He realizes he's edgy and could commit suicide. Oh, yeah, and that's why I got the bottle up and everything else. Yep. You mean, you mean besides the tall stranger meddling in my affairs? Believe me, Superman, you're the last guy I could talk about my problems with. You really don't like me very much, do you, Piotr? No, and I really don't like the fact that you need to be liked so much either, comrade. And who do you think you are, flying around and wearing our flag? How can you call your and, call, and how can they call you a symbol of everything one believe when you aren't even from this planet? You're an opposite of Marxist doctor and Superman, living proof that all men aren't created equal. Dang! He didn't, he didn't actually invite you to the party, did he? No. And you know why? Because all Comrade Stalin wants to do now is show off his indestructible man of steel, my friend. The rest of us can go to hell. It doesn't matter how fast you are, how strong you are, or how good you are with a rifle. Since the magnificent Superman appeared and started rescuing cats from trees, why bother with Pietro Roslov as your bodyguard when you're being watched over by an alien who could catch bullets since he was a toddler? <laughs> Actually, the power scene started until a few weeks after my 12th birthday, Captain Roslov. My super hearing was the first to develop. I heard what I thought were voices in my head until I realized it was just listening to the children in the next collective. And up until that point, I was just an ordinary little boy with bruised knees and a wheezy cough and crush, a crush on my cute red-headed neighbor just like anyone else. Hmm? If I had the powers, I'd left the farm years before now, but I didn't. You know why? Because my parents wanted me to be ready when I went to the big city. I believe in this just as much as you do, Peter. This doesn't have to be a competition. That's easy to say when you're streaking through the sky, Superman. Not so much fun when you're down here working the gutters like the rest of us. Did you hear about the purge last week, Superman? Two dissidents printing anti-Superman Day leaflets or something. I forget the details. All I remember is the boy. What are you, what are you looking at, boy? Don't you know, and I know it's against the law to stare at a chief of police? Bulls kill little boys too, you know. Get out of my what? sight. Your parents are dead. Don't Whoa. walk. Run. Weird little runt. Probably grow up like just like his idiot father. Uh, you can guess where this is going. Oh man, yeah, I definitely can. <laughs> the kid could have been could have been more than nine years old, but his glare could have stopped the clock ticking. Those weren't a child's eyes. They looked too patient. I will never ever forget the way that boy stared at me. Somebody said he threw himself in the Moscow River. Others said he disappeared in the sewers to lick his wounds and swear revenge. I shot his parents. What does that do to a boy, Superman? Is there anyone who can answer that one? And I think he's only crying because he's drunk and it's releasing his emotions. Otherwise, he wouldn't have cared. Do you think that's a reference towards Batman? Uh, well, no, next book. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, actually, oh, you need to ask. It wasn't until you appeared that I realized just how horrible and viable my job really is. And I'm sick of it, Superman. Sick of working in a system where no matter how hard I try, I'm never going to make it to the top of the party now that you're here. Sick of getting my hands dirty for a man who won't even admit I'm his, I'm, I, I admit I'm his own flesh and blood. No! You, I, you, know, I, you know you're really going to hurt yourself soon if you don't cut it out and cut out all this drinking Oh, cancer. man. Damn you! They all might think you're wonderful now, but I know where this is going, alien. Your interference is going to be the worst thing that ever happened to us. You mark my words. Oh, Jesus, I'm 
done a terrible thing, Superman. Father made me so angry this morning, and I arranged. What? I said. No, not you. Two miles away. There's someone shouting for help in Moscow. Wait here. Now, this is setting up something, but it never gets a payoff, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Superman, help us! He arranged this. You're wasting your time. Just get a doctor. What the hell does Superman know about medicine? What are you talking about? He's Superman, you idiot. He could do anything. <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> I believe Comrade Stalin's respiratory and, um, enzyme systems are under attack from acute cyanide poisoning. I've already told the medical team to place them on total body monitoring while I work in the labs for an effective antitoxin. I'm sorry, Captain. You can't go in there. Who the hell do you think you're telling me where I can go, you little snot? Get out of my way before I have you counting snowflakes in Siberia. Father. Oh, my God. You know... I've only ever seen him standing up before Superman. It's so horrible to see him like this, small and vulnerable. He looks like just like a little doll, rag doll. And again, the fact that, um, oh, and on, Captain Rossoff was devastated by the old man's death. We all were. He didn't rest until he found a man who poisoned him and had him shot in, in Red Square in full public view. Now, the thing is, though, he clearly arranged this, but he's devastated by what he did. Oh, he was in a moment man. of weakness. It's not a case where he's covering his own ass. Yeah. Well, in part it is. There's well, more just, out of regret. He was just doing orders. Well, no. Well, no. Not in this case. In this case, he reacted emotionally. Because oh, he okay. ordered the guy to kill his father. But there was a moment of weakness that he soon realized, like, what have I done? Yeah, I totally get that. Again, normally, that's why Life was Malari. He's making these characters complex. Make it complex and they're making them in like real life because that's something, you know, somebody's emotion takes over like that and you do something quick and you regret it. It's real life. Yep. But yeah, soon looser than makes, well, Bizarro. Sweet. And the days and weeks that follow saw America ruthlessly exploit our political confusion. I listen and listen to them as they plot in their bunkers and recognize to my horrors that the Cold War had just dipped below freezing point. Their first act was a promise to contain the communist threat by increasing their nuclear stockpiles in the UK and our, very, and our various satellite countries. This promise was later enforced by official confirmation the United States of America had developed a duplicate Superman of their own. Stalin's death had left an enormous void in our great nation that the party hierarchy begged me to fill. However, this was a rescue I was reluctant to undertake. Why should I, the fa and why should the fact that I was born with privileges qualify me as leader of a socialist republic? I am sorry, comrades, but the very idea that is in complete contradiction to everything we were ever raised to believe in. And now he's not just saying because of what Pietro told him, but that's his own belief. Wow. That's... Like, why should I? Yeah, exactly. Now, of course, we have then Bizarro or other super U.S. Superman. Oh, my God. Bizarro is U.S. Superman. That's crazy. <laughs> yep. Pardon my, if my English isn't perfect. I'm afraid I only learned the language 10 minutes ago, and I'm still having trouble with the grammar. But these shores are off limits, comrade. Now, if you understand, oh, the duplicate was imperfect. A crude effort compared to Lex's later work with abilities little more than a warped aggregate of my own repertoire, like telescopic X-ray vision. Yikes! Man. Which causes everyone to go nuts in the sub and accidentally fire off a missile. Good God! England, London, Oxford, and 258 in, in, instance bystanders are dead before I even hit the ground because of the punch. Oh my even God. Even now, after all these years, I can still hear the sound of them snap. A second later, one second later, and the body count tripled. That is crazy. For, and perhaps you misunderstand. Your presence here is an aggressive act. This country doesn't need American protection. The Soviet Union poses no threat to the future of Great Britain. You are the monster here. You are the one who needs to be contained. It's getting up. Kill it for the God's sake. Finish and Superman, for God's sake, finish it off. Huh? Go home and tell your president to mind his own affairs. Nobody <laughs> wants you or your weapons here. Suddenly the clock stopped. Time ground to a halt as it always does for our kind when a decision must be made. The group duplicate and I gave and exchanged glances. Two moving objects on a static frozen background. We both know that one of us would have to make a choice. To this day, his true intentions remain a mystery to me. A cold vision. <laughs> I often wonder if he really knew what he was doing when he kicked back into the sky, or if he understood perfectly a sacrifice and, and sacrificed himself, inheriting my promise to preserve every form of life. 
Hello, everyone. Me very pleased to meet you. Perhaps he looked <laughs> into my eyes and glimpsed a future that he couldn't bear to see, choosing instead to spare himself the suffering. I'm afraid we'll never know for sure. The Man of Steel is dead. That was also a name for Stalin, actually. All see, rise that... for the National Anthem. The Man that of Steel was... was known as Stalin also? That was one of his nicknames. So do you think that he took a lot of thought or a lot of uh, information from here, maybe? Maybe. Oh, but that, but now Peter is now, he's sober and everything, so he's going back to being an ass again. Oh, God. Especially telling him about, you know, how, um, um, about how you're going to, everyone wants him for succession. He yeah. doesn't want it. He came to help the common man. I'm a worker, not a public speaker. Of course, Peter feel like, I'm glad to hear it. But tell that to, the, to a party machine who served a living legend for the past 30 years. They think communism is going to die with the old man now. Especially in the face of the United States, who just joined the superhuman arms race. Now we see, um, you know, Lois is still thinking about Superman. So, you see, even till her dying days, she's loyal to Lex, but she's always going to think about Superman. Yeah, it's her true love. It's her soulmate. Yep, but circumstances are going to always prevent it. Like, All you know time. something weird? I had the same dream every night since I was ever since I was a little girl. I dream I'm falling through the clouds, and the earth's getting closer and closer. And I'm never afraid because I know that you're there to catch me. Can you believe that? You catch me almost every night, always in the nick of time. And now you're real, Superman, as real as any of this. That's why she's thinking about it, because she's dreamed about him. Oh, uh, well. Lois, your husband's on the telephone, sweetheart. Don't interrupt, Lois. This conversation has been calculated to last 38 seconds. Our marriage is about to begin an indefinite sabbatical, effective immediately. This time, mine will be spent devising to a plan to humiliate and defeat Superman, just as humi he humiliated and defeated me. I resigned from Star Labs, destroyed my notes, and terminated the contracts of anyone who understood my procedures. The Superman duplicate is a mistake that must not be repeated. Say you understand, darling. Say you don't take this as a personal insult. Are you telling me that our marriage is over because Superman beat your monster in a fight? What are you talking about? I don't care about the fight. My devoting my I'm devoting my life to Superman for another reason entirely. And for another reason oh. entirely, Lois. The duplicate of that alien farm boy had the tenacity to beat me a chest last night. Oh my god. And then a imperfect duplicate of that was still smarter enough to beat Lex. That's crazy, because Lex is on the He's busy, right? Mean everything was building towards this. Yes, I totally get it now. Because now, she course, she hasn't had any personal experience with with Superman except for her dreams, correct? Yes. Okay. So so it's like, with Lex though here, he's it, it, he's had a fragile ego that has never been broken until now. And An now it's clone. Yep. Beat him, not Superman himself, but an imperfect clone. And that's crazy. That's what made him sexy. Realized that just if, if this was the imperfect one. Imagine how smart the real deal is, and he can't abide that. And the straw that broke the camel's back, right? Yep, and Lotus, it it was a close game. That is, it's it's crazy. I love it. I love how this is. Now, eventually, Superman meets up with Lana. Well, basically, his version of Lana Lane, Lana Lazar and Co. Yeah, and basically, then um, she has kids, but no husband. She's all on her own, and then um. She, he tried, now again, this is the whole notion of like, everyone will get food, but they have to wait in line, all this stuff. They're not going to get enough. So Superman's ready to give him the skip ahead, but like, well, what about us, Superman? We're all hungry, and my children here haven't been eating all day either. Some of us haven't eaten in weeks. Things are only going to get worse now that Stalin's dead. I've got a friend in supplies who says, and they aren't going to get grains for the rest of the months. It's okay, Superman. It's not your fault. It's just the way the system works. You know you can't take care of everyone's problem. Actually, I can, Lana. I could take care of everyone's problems if I ran this place. And to tell you the truth, there's no good reason why I shouldn't. Damn. Tell your friends they don't have to be scared of or hungry anymore, comrades. Superman is here to rescue them. Now, see? This is awesome. what I meant. This is what I meant. He has Superman's beliefs, but skewed by the communism of the greater good and redistribution of the wealth. I totally get that. I love how he's got that moral still of this. 
But now he feels like he has to take over because that's what communism has raised him to believe. Exactly. One to rule them all, and that's what he wants to do. Wow. Exactly. Now, that's just the first issue. Now, there's three I issues in all this, all three long prestige issues. Now, this is where we're going to get half of this is going to be Johnson. The other one's going to be Kelly Plunkett. Okay. Who will take over. I do not know exactly where he does, but he will. Now, look at this. Basically, now, Luther had worked with Brainiac in between time. If you notice, Luther's already losing his hair and oh, gaining yeah. weight. Yep. We're supposed to steal Moscow, not Stalingrad. Krypton and Superman lives miles away from Stalingrad. God, I would have expected a level 12 intelligence to be able to understand a blasted roadmap. Where is he, Luther? Where's Brainiac? Christmas shopping at Macy's, Superman. Where do you see <laughs> Eight million Soviet citizens condemned to spend the rest of their lives. No bigger than a false stop. Than a false stop. Unless, of course, you manage to catch him in time, Man of Steel. That's very impressive. Ship of his left Earth's atmosphere two hours ago. So in other words, Stalingrad is Candor. Oh, really? Bottle City. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Duh. Now, I want you to pay attention to this. Okay. Notice... We are having everything that happens, but I want you, by the time we reach the end, I want you to notice someone we never get, and some items of his missiles that never get brought up. Now, don't okay. say anything now, but pay attention and notice what's never mentioned or brought up. All right. What was, what was the point of Lex, and the point of Lex Luthor? A human being who dared to challenge a god? He was surely the greatest of his kind. I often look back on those days and wonder what he might have accomplished without me the triumphs he might have achieved in the name of his species. Perhaps he existed to keep me in check, or as someone else hypothesized, perhaps it was the other way around. This is why he despised me so. Game over, loser. 58 seconds. You're slowing down, Superman. Brainiac's ship was only 45,000 miles away. Surely ad an advancing middle age isn't catching up with Russia's mighty man of tomorrow. Brainiac's central processing unit, Lex. I used it to access every file in the ship's database, but there isn't a shred of useful information. I can't find any means of returning Stalingrad to natural size. Hardly surprising, when Brainiac's prime directive was storing information on alien cultures, I don't think he ever intended on giving any of these cities back, you know. Tell you what, I'm always reading how smart you are, how nothing we mortals can imagine is beyond President Superman's limitation, correct? Drops it, catches it. Well, now, your chance to prove them right, alien. Best of luck. Temper, temper, Superman. Hardly the behavior of one would expect when a foreign head of state pays a visit to America's most enterprising corporation. So now he's doing LexCorp. Contact the building and standards repair. Oh, and tell Loomis and shout, I'm ready for the attack. Plan 307, Miss Teschmacher. I feel <laughs> like I'm on an intellectual roll today. Night to B3, incidentally. That's checkmate, table 81. <laughs> <laughs> now notice how he's now becoming more and more like the Lex we know. Yes, big time. Now that he has someone to focus and obsess on. And he likes chess too, don't he? Well, it makes sense. It does. Now this is the Alana character, and now they have all these things, and all of Superman's villains have been created by Luther in this version. Brain um Parasite. We even see um uh Kemp Chemo, Atomic Skull. So many of them were all created by him and defeated by Superman. None of them were ever a, a match. Wow. Only nine. Oh, now notice this little, that, that little thing in the guy's head. We'll get to that. Okay. Crypto. Oh, no. That means crypto was a creation. Oh, man. Yep. One I'm of the sorry. great. <laughs> yep. I'm sorry, my friend. I was in a world of my own. The Soviet Union was just a fragile assembly when Superman first came to power. Two decades later, and the whole world is our ally. Only the United States and Chile choose to remain independent. So, by this point, everyone but the U.S. and Chile are part of the Soviet Union. All because of what Superman has done. Oh, wow. Because of Superman. Yep. And both are on the brink of fiscal and social collapse. The rest of the world was glad to volunteer total control to Superman. Basically, in other words, Superman is showing communism fully realized without someone with corruption in its heart. It may Remember, work. That was Who always knows? the problem with communism. <laughs> communism theoretically could work. Theoretically, it could. If you didn't have people with air, greed, ego, and arrogance running it. I get it. So Superman is fully realizing communism. Poverty, disease, and ignorance have been virtually eliminated from the Warsaw Pact states. 
disobedience to the party has been virtually eliminated. That's where we're going to get to the darker end. So it's showing even Superman is not perfect. But we don't know that yet. But this guy would yeah. never help you sleep at night, comrade. We're like pets, animals in a cage. He might feed us and shelter everyone, but we're never going to be free until that monster is, and while that monster is running the show. Uh-oh. What the? Why'd that happen? Oh, no. What the heck? <laughs> I got signed out. That was weird. That's really weird. I've never had that happen. Ah, great. Now you got to get all the way to the beginning or back to the point. Well, at least you don't have to go through the first book. There we go. There we go. Ah, here we go. All right. But basically, then we see this guy, um, you know, again, talking with every overhearing it all. Dangerous talk, my friend, especially when you're criticizing a man with super hearing. What do you mean? There's no law against conversations, is there? Not even Superman is going to punish me for just forcing my opinion. Incitement to disobey is all it takes to be turned into a Superman robot these days. Ah, uh, Superman robot. But by this, uh, it means lobotomized. All right, so they're... Superman, unfortunately, has been doing this. Controlling them. But, and basically to bring down dissidents. But these are only for ones that are of extreme cases, not, you know... So was it the the people that want to go against them? So yeah, he put that on there, will, more or less? Do, yes, he would do that to make them still perfect, proficient members of society. I mean, that's that's kind of a little too far, but, I mean, that's how he was raised, I guess. Yep. And of course, everything's shut down, but look, look who we have now. Oh, shoot. My apologies for interrupting a perfect evening of totalitarian oppression, but I've got a message here for anyone who values breezing. In precisely four minutes' time, Moscow's Superman Museum will erupt into a beautiful flickering fireball. Please stay where you are if you'd like to make a stand against the tactics of my terrorist organization. Otherwise, I recommend you run like hell. Batman out. That's Batman. so badass. I thought he was dead and buried. It doesn't matter. Just evacuate the building. They're saying he's triggered five official premises this time. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, oh, man, just look at Batman here. Batman. Wow. The fourth of chaos in my world of perfect order. The dark side of the Soviet dream. Rumored to be a thousand murder dissidents, they said he was a ghost of a, an, a walking dead man, a symbol of rebellion that would never fade as long as the system survived. Anarchy in black. That is so cool. I love how they bring him in. Yep. Now, of course, yeah, they, they, they lost, they've lost visual. They're trying to find him, think he's injured, um, all this, um, until they follow one guy there, like, okay, let's see who's smiling now, genius. Damn it! Because they had, um, they think they had found him, but it wasn't him. Oh, okay. Where were you, Superman? Where were you when we actually needed you? Now, that's Pieter again. Pieter, what's wrong? We had Batman exactly where we wanted him, but he still managed to get away and leave my men looking like drooling idiots. Why can't we kill him, Superman? God, my father must be spinning in his grave out there. You realize that his network just detonated five bombs tonight and my man can't find a fingerprint? I say it's time we t- and we got tough and cracked a few skulls, just like we did in the good old days. No, there must be no killing, Pieter. You might run the KGB, but I'm the one who runs the country. This utopia will not be built on the bones of my opponents. See, though, he won't kill, but he will lobotomize. Yes, yes, yeah, he is. Yeah, because it's not it's, killing. Again, yeah, again, it's like, but again, he's doing it because he feels, like he, he's basically trying to go for a perfect world. Again, because that was the end goal belief of communism. Capitalism never had that end goal. And if you keep trying to make a perfect world at one point, you're going to destroy it all. Exactly. But then he soon sees like a signal malfunctioning 800 miles away. Two trains are about to collide. And, oh, there's that image. Oh, oh hold on. wow. Can, my smoke alarm's going to keep beeping. I got to go press the button. You're good. You're good. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so um, he's he made it there, and yeah, like, if I was being honest with myself, I would admit that I was growing bored with human conversation. Now we see Princess Diana, of course, and now they've now embraced the Soviet way, obviously. 
as she's dr coming joined um, a champion for social justice. So, how was America? Disgusting, Superman. Absolutely disgusting. It's 1978, and children are still sleeping in the streets over there. Why does Kennedy still cling to capitalist dogma when it's quite <laughs> clearly tearing his country apart? Pride. I suppose. I suppose he'll come around eventually. I told him he should devote more time to his crumbling economy and less to these painted movie stars he seems to pursue with such a vigor. That country has never been the same since Nixon was assassinated. Oh! Wow, Nixon in was assassinated. And in 1978, JFK is still going. That's awesome. Yep. Um, I maintain that it really was the beginning of the end for them. The tanker suit ran. The tanker's going to blow. Take it easy, comrade. Not while there's a breast left in my body. <sighs> You're such a show-off, you know that. Sometimes <laughs> I wonder if Luther and the Americans are right, Diana. Perhaps we do interfere with humanity too much. Nobody wears a seatbelt anymore. Ships have stopped you know, carrying life jackets. I don't like this unhealthy new way that people are behaving. There's nothing wrong with helping people, Superman. You can't just sit back and watch them die with your telescop telescopic vision. You're practically, you're being irrational. The KGB are always pushing me to take more control. But I already feel like I'm holding on too tight. Sometimes I worry the people don't even like me. Oh, the people love you, Superman. Some more than you'd ever believe. He's not seeing it. He's not seeing her love for him. Well, no, because, I mean, he... Does well, he, he admits, know? He even admits it. He's, oh, um, he admits it? Later on, he admits it. Well, his narrations admit later on. He was an idiot for not realizing it. I was going to say, because he's kind of like that communist hard ass or whatever, where you don't see what's right in front of you. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, but, that, but it's also, he's so oblivious to I mean, wanting to help everyone. He's not seeing the most obvious of all. And yeah, it bites him it, in the ass big time. And he doesn't care about himself. He puts everybody else in front of him. Yes. All right. Great Caesar's ghost. Uh, it's actually Great Caesar's bus, sir. I'm aware of Roman history, queen. It's Ali. He works there now. <laughs> uh, I, I, I only use the term to register my surprise. You know what I'm saying. Oh, don't and don't let Oliver kid you, Perry. No Pulitzer Prize-winning writer could be half as dimwit as he pretends to be. Don't bet the farm, Lois. If there was a personality contest in the office, Olibor here would come behind the pencil sharpener. Big smile for the re retirement photo, Chief. Give me something I can show Barry to prove he was two hours late to the party, huh? Last time, Iris, don't call me Chief. Now you guys and gals are going to have to excuse me for a minute while I give your beautiful new editor here the Tencent office tour. Heck, don't be so hard on Barry Iris. He's probably solving a very gruesome murder. How does it feel to be in sitting in the big chair, honey? Like I'm trespassing, Chief. I am guess I'm, I guess I'm always going to think of this as your little corner of the world. Exactly what I told said to George Tyler when he retired, sweetheart. It felt like I was wearing the old man's underwear for months. Listen, can I give you some advice? Only if I'm not about to be patronized, old timer. They didn't make me the planet editor just because I've gotten a passion for tight sweaters. I know, Lois. Your job <laughs> I, I know and your job's your life. In fact, that's exactly what I wanted to talk to you about. The country's on its knees. The system's falling apart. Everybody knows the Daily Planet isn't going to be around much longer. What you need to be, and what you need is someone to be there for you when things get bad, to support you no matter what happens. You need a husband, honey. I've got a husband. Great Caesar's ghost. I mean someone who thinks about you more than he thinks about destroying Superman. Someone <laughs> sane, for God's sake. Lex is kind of sane, occasionally. And now, again, Jimmy, again, this is the only thing I really don't care for. I like Jimmy to a degree, but he's not Jimmy. Yeah. He's Jimmy in name only. Yeah, I was going to say, because he doesn't, J Jimmy but, isn't but that. At least, they, at least they use him, at least. They use him, but he, usually Jimmy's usually that bumbling, like, kind of, uh, not, yeah, not, not an idiot, per se, but. Uh, yeah, and we don't even know how he got to this yeah. point. That's the weird thing. Everyone else, you can understand how they got here, but him. Yeah, it just showed him in one panel, and then before you know it, boom, he's here. Yep. Lois, what a wonderful surprise. Apologies in advance for not buying you anything, because it's their anniversary. 23 years as for not buying you anything in advance, but I've been reading 13 fascinating books this morning. Leave the usual present on my desk, and you have my word that one of my assistants can open it later, sweetheart. Who, and, and who was that red-headed guy I just passed in the hall? He looked kind of familiar. Well, and well, he shouldn't have... And, well, he shouldn't have. That was Mr. James Olsen, the Pentagon's anti-Superman advisor and probably the ex-director of the CIA. 
Olsen commissioned LexCorp to develop what we think would be the most effective anti-Superman deterrent yet, using information he received from the synthesizers in the Kremlin. Is that what you're working on now? I'm sorry, darling, but I'm afraid that's classified information. Speaking of which, JFK and Norma Jean are joining us. Norma Jean now is who he's married to here for dinner tonight. Apparently, Jack's got some UFO business he said I'd be interested in. Oh, Lex, don't you ever stop. This was supposed to be the one night of the year we were always guaranteed we were going to spend some time together. You don't understand, Lois. The, and Jack tells me Brainiac and Superman aren't the only aliens who ever visited Earth. It seems another alien crashed in Roswell, New Mexico back in 1947. The United <laughs> States of America have an extraterrestrial of our very own. They say the passengers sustained terrible injuries when the ship crashed and died a little time a little later. But an object was recovered from his finger, which interests me enormously. Hoover covered up the incident. He hid the body inside some desolate airbase and then erased said airbase from the map. All fairly standard procedure. However, Jack told me this morning that he wants the hangar reopened, just in case there's any other little trinkets inside that might be worth stealing. Checkmate, incidentally. He's going for a computer in it now. He's doing chess with. Um, and listen, bring Norma Jean and Jack to dinner if you want, Lex. I'm not even sure I even care anymore. Of course you still care, Lois Luther. Why else would you have chosen to live alone all these years, eh? I guess you're right, Lex. Maybe I am just a one-man woman. Oh, man. Because she knows she, she's sticking with Lex because she knows she can't have Superman. Oh, yeah. I understand that. And, and she dreams of him, though, right? Yep. Life was so simple in those days. Deflecting meteorites, welding tectonic plates, managing a global economy single-handedly. Every problem had a solution. Sometimes even two solutions. Of course, a romance was suspected, but we both just laughed at the idea. Diana was more like one of the boys, and she had no use for men in her antiseptic island. Or so it seemed in those faraway days. Poor Diana. I could monitor life on other worlds and watch electrons in their eternal orbits, but sometimes I was so blind. That's sad as hell. <laughs> yep, now we see Pieter. He's just, again, doing his stuff, and all of a sudden, he's in drive. Uh, the driver goes crazy right into the water. Turns out the driver was Batman. Oh, Jesus wow. God Almighty. I heard you wanted to see me, Commander. Well, let's hear what you have to say. How <laughs> dare you speak to me like that? Do you realize who I am? Your name is Pieter and Esau Rossoff, illegitimate son of the late Joseph Stalin and currently head of the security services. You're a vain man, a cruel man and obsessively jealous of Superman. It's no secret that you harbor political ambitions of your own. Who you are is meaningless. The question is why you're putting the word around that you want to talk to me. I take it, ah, that it's and, and, and that it's safe to speak down here. Naturally, Commander. All my games are soundproofed and cloaked using the cutting edge of military technology. All stolen from your bases, of course. Now <laughs> get straight to the point. Lex Luthor and his friends in the CIA have an interesting proposition for you, Batman. They want you to kill Superman and guarantee they and they now have the means of finishing him off perfect properly. And why would Lucer's latest plan be any different from all of his previous failures? Because this time the CIA isn't paying Lex Lecor to build killer robots, Batman. They're using information our people found the rocket ship that brought Superman to Earth. And it seems they figured out his weaknesses. Now we're only going to get one shot at this. And you're the only man so far even Superman has been unable to beat. Our only hope of finally replacing an alien with a qualified human figurehead. You're joking, of course. Why would I put someone like you in charge of the system, Rossoff? You'd be twice the monster Superman is. Ten times as bad. But surely, common sense dictates you'd rather see me in the Kremlin than some bulletproof demigod running the show for the next million years, right? Supposing he's immortal? Could you imagine an eternity of communist rule under that tyrant? Whose regime does the master strategist think he stand a better chance of toppling? Use your head, Batman. <laughs> As he remembers what happened, okay, it's a deal. But understand oh, this. Wow. When Superman is dead and buried, I'm coming after you so hard and so fast that nothing on earth will ever be able to stop me. I swear on my, the memory of my mother and my father, you're going to follow him to an early grave. You mean you can try? Oh, man. Come on, yep. like, come on! Like he thinks he gets stand a chance against Batman. I mean, I love. Yep. This. Well, he's arregant, but yeah, oh. everyone is celebrating <laughs> Superman's birthday. Everyone like four cheers and all that. Oh, Doctor Savannah is also working for him. Oh God! For yeah, God's everybody, sake, the rest, Savannah, you really have more dignity than you were Lex Luthor's test tube cleaner. So he worked for Luthor and then he um jumped ship. 
Wow, of course. Pardon me, darling. I don't mean to be rude, but there's something I've been meaning to ask you. I mean, I'm the queen of Semiscura. Laurie and Ronald preside, preside or Atlantis, the Lori Lamaris. Pieta runs the military police, and Sadius is a high-profile pro- American defector. But who are you, dear? What brings you to the top table? Well, uh, I'm an old friend of Superman from his childhood, your highness, and a guide at the... I think what Lana's trying to say about her is that she knew who the big man really was, and now he has to keep her sweet with champagne and a well-paid job. That's a man. I don't know if he's telling the truth. It's always hard to tell, and I think that might be the case. I you think? think Superman knows how to use politics. He may. Oh, come yeah, on. He's a smart guy. It's one thing to have Lana be a close friend, and you can help make care for her, but to give her the royal treatment. It, it, it's kind of favoritism right there. And it's very, very, very obvious. And he's not in love with her. It's just because they were the childhood friend. Exactly. So, but that does, I think he might have a point. Whether Superman realize it or not. It, it shows his, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, not dedication. I can't think of the word, but you know. I know, and I know what you mean. Yeah. But, but yeah, obviously then Batman makes a bat signal. So cool. And he had kept out, and, um, Millar is using also one other scene from the pre-crisis. If Lois was ever, and not Lois, if Wonder Woman was ever bound with her la- and by a man, yeah. she would lose her powers. That was okay. a whole weakness of hers. Yeah, I did know that. Tense, and but yeah, of course he's so he kept got her and is holding her. But it would get you nowhere, Wonder Woman. Computer, initiate the LexCorp program. Full power starting in thirty seconds. Time. What have you done to her, you animal? Rest assured, only her pride has been hurt, Superman. It appears Wonder Woman's magic lasso was spun from the magical girdle of Gaia. Now she's obedient to me. Oh, that's the other reason, because he's used her lasso on her. Oh, okay. So so does it work on her also? Yes. Okay. Now she's obedient to me and all those poor dissidents she used to dominate for you. We ordinary people might lack your great speed or your X-ray vision, Superman, but never understand, underestimate the power of the human mind. We carry the most dangerous weapon on Earth inside these six little skulls of ours. I can see your brain from here, Batman. And believe me, it's nothing to boast about. Same goes for your private <laughs> gadgets. Now, look, he has a bomb. He's going to kill himself if he loses. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see it now. Yep, it's going to take a few more and some smoke bombs and explosive in your small intestines to beat me. Keep talking, big mouse. Uh, uh, uh sun lamps. Wonderful. Let them burn for a few thousand years and I might get a heat rash. Ah! Good God. How did you get, and how did you Ooh. do that? How did you get so strong? Not that it matters. A well-placed blast of heat vision, and you really don't get it, do you? You don't have heat vision anymore, Superman. Ugh! Strange visit from another planet, less son of a dying world. Everything that they need to defeat you could be found in those two phrases, Superman. All we had to do was create the right condition. Ugh! Building solar lamps to simulate the rays of your native red sun was Lex Luthor's idea, in case you're wondering. Digging a cell beneath the Siberian detention camp was a little touch of my own in the name of poetic justice. Don't worry, Superman. Everything you need to survive can be found inside, inside. Unlike those poor dissidents sent here during the Stalin years. Millions of people died to place this in places like this to build that system you uphold. People I cared about. What you're going to feel for the next ten minutes is nothing compared to what they went through, you power-mad lunatic. <laughs> Damn. Run, Superman! Get out of the light, and your power and your powers come back. Throw the battering. Duh! You should never have come here, Superman. You should have died on your own world and kept your alien fingers out of human affairs. You, we aren't toys and pets. You can train to do whatever you please. We're people, human beings. Maybe now you'll appreciate what that means. Now, of course, he was meant to kill him, but he was. I know I'm just gonna make him suffer. Hey, yeah, I wouldn't think that he would kill him right off the bat like that. What, uh, uh, great Hera, you can't condemn him to spend the rest of his life locked up in there like an animal. What's the alternative? Just putting him out of his misery once and for all. He can't be allowed to interfere with anyone, Wonder Woman. Locking him up is the humane situation. Of course, she didn't, he soon him begs her be like, to get out of there. I need you to find a way to destroy it. I know breaking the lasso is going to hurt, but there's really no other way we're going to beat him, Diana. We can't beat, the, and, and, and we can't let Batman destroy everything we've ever worked for, and you're the only person now who can get me out of the mess. Please, more than anything I've ever asked of you before, I need you to help me here, Diana, as your oldest and dearest friend. I'm begging you to do whatever it takes. Now, again, is he being sincere? I think, well, I think he is, but then look at him like here. 
he would say anything to get out of that situation. And she breaks the lasso. Wow. One woman. No, get out of my way, little man. He's using you. Don't you understand? All he cares about is the power. Diana. Oh, Jesus. Badroom. No more tricks, Batman. No more solar lamps or magic lassos. Just a few hours brain surgery and a job in the Moscow bank for you. Now tell me who set me up. Come on, Superman. Surely you know I'd rather martyr myself for the cause than end my days as one of your ridiculous Superman robots. Why else would I have swallowed a bomb before you and I went head to head? Oh, and by the way, it was Pieter who betrayed you. Boom! Superman, are you okay? I found the generator, just like you asked me to, and tossed it in the Norwegian Sea. I think I might have hurt myself when you made me snap that cord. It was like, I don't know, something just switched off in my head or something. I mean, Pieter. Notice he's ignoring her! He is. He don't care. She's grown old right in front of him. Yeah, he's been. She's been weak. And look at her. And look at her wrist gauntlets and her bracelets. Yeah, and the gray hairs are wow. And now, of course, we see um, JFK. Look how old he is. That's crazy. I love it. Riots in California. The White House bombed by communist sympathizers. Texas and Detroit seriously talk about independence. I'm afraid you won't get my vote next time, Jack. Ah, but remove Superman from the world stage and a very different picture emerges. Look! Green Lantern. And now we finally have the means to do it. Basically, they look through it all. Um, I knew that's that's who they were talking about when they were talking about a crash landing. Yep. I knew it, but I didn't want to bring it up. That's awesome. But yeah, they basically have been trying to figure out what it was. But then, of course, dear God, Jack, you people, are you people really this stupid? What you're looking at here is a weapon, old friend. Wow. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Time passed and my grip grew tighter. Unfortunately, so he's, in other words, he's every time he gets saying, I'm not going to cross the line, he's had to cross the line. And he keeps pushing the, the boundaries. I mean, that's barely a decision he, was made across the length and breadth of the Soviet Union without my permission, some form or another, because he was betrayed by Pieter. The population wow. was growing and largely grow, grateful and obedient, but the freedom fighters inspired by the death of Batman remained with something of a problem. My desire for order and perfection was matched only by their dreams of violence and chaos. I offered them utopia, and they fought for the right to live in hell. <laughs> Diana, of course, was the only one among us who truly knew the meaning of that word. Her days had become a monotonous timetable, bathing, eating, and sleeping, unable to even speak for long months after her experience in Siberia. You freaking breaks- gave up everything for him. Yep. It breaks my heart to think how much she hated me after that. How did everything we had turn so horribly and violently sour in the years that lie ahead? Commander Rasloff, where have you been? I heard they replaced you, but there was no official word you've been ever been fired. All I heard was you gone missing for six weeks and... What? I spent a little time in hospital. Quite true, dear Lana. Quite true. Oh, oh my God. Are you okay, Commander? <laughs> well, actually, I'm feeling much better, thanks for asking. But you've come here looking for Superman. I'm afraid he doesn't live here anymore, my dear. This is the new command center, where Moscow's day-to-day affairs will be controlled by Superman's reprogrammed Brainiac machine. Think about that a second. What do you mean? Is Superman gone? Only temporary, comrade. Superman just said he needs some time alone to collect his thoughts again. That's why he commissioned all of those artists and scientists to design this wonderful new retreat he's so excited about. <laughs> Commander, please, I don't know what you're talking about. What retreat? Superman's holiday home. Haven't you heard? A vast place in the northern ways for his souvenirs and all of those strange experiments he's ever been doing lately. They say he's been like some kind of fortress. Fortress of solitude. Yep. Again, what wow. do you think about this? I I love it. I think it's so cool. It's a different take on the whole Superman story. And Ooh, look at this. He's watching now notice, you. It gets more and more propagandas with each cover. And he gets more and more evil, seems like, all the time, too. More dictatorial than evil. He's not, again, yeah. Not I, he's not evil. Yeah, he's not He's not evil. I, that was a wrong, wrong right, word yeah. that oh, I yeah, put this out is there. This is not worth Kelly Plunkett doing the artwork. Again, Dave Johns is a great artist, but he's way too slow. Oh, is that what it was? Yep. On my 63rd birthday, Brainiac calculated that the world now contained almost 6 billion communists. I quickly double-checked, and he was right. Moscow tick-tocked with the same Swiss um, watch precision as every other town and city in our global Soviet Union. Every adult had a job, every child had a hobby, and the entire human population enjoyed the full eight hours sleep which their body required. Crime didn't exist, 
Accidents never happen. It didn't even rain unless Brainiac was absolutely certain that everyone was carrying an umbrella. Almost six billion citizens and hardly anyone complained. That's even in so private. boring. You know, that just sounds so monotonous. Just boring. Like the, and the Batman seem to be pr- responding well to their new personalities, Brainiac. I think we uh, and we can safely reintroduce them to society soon without any serious concern. A steady hand and some pioneering neurosurgery, and even the most pers- and, pers- and persistent troublemakers can become protective workers, comrade Superman. If my own rehabilitation isn't proof enough, surely you're... Uh, which, okay, what boy should I do? Should I do that? Or should, should I do and should I do more like this? Which one should I do? I think the other one. Okay. If my you own think? rehabilitation, this one or the, they are right, that's one. There you go. The, the no, robot I, one. Yep. Well, they're both robot, but one's more. More robotic than the yeah. second one. Yeah, go for it. Uh, right. Okay. The other form, a former enemies cleaning toilets in Bombay is a tribute to the success of your initiative. Even Luther has been unusually quiet lately. Success is only measured in results, Brainiac. Summarize today's statistics, please. Pro- productivity is up 8%. Life expectancy has increased to 112 Earth years. Suicides are down since they added flux and tine hydrochloride in the water supply. Birth rates are on the rise. All increase localized in the prearranged trouble spots. And what about America? Oh, the cover. Famous action number one cover. Still oh, a while yep. now, unfortunately, and still refusing to end the aid package we've offered them. 350 million people are on the brink of starvation, Superman. Wouldn't it be more humane to just invade their shores and make them fall in line with the rest of the world? Out of the question, old friend. This global revolution has been bloodless so far. There's no reason to change tactics now. America will fall like every other outdated world economy. All we have to do is wait and pick up the pieces. Uh. That I was certain. All I had to do was buy my time, and the whole world would finally be as perfect as God has intended it to be. It didn't occur to me for a moment what Luther had been plotting in his lead-lined soundproof laboratory. Now he's doing chess too. Wow. That's... Oh, look at this. He became president. President Lex. All that and everything. President Luther ceased trading with the rest of the world in January 2001 and created a strict eternal market where he had absolute control over every dollar bill. By February, he had doubled the standard of living for every American citizen and doubled it again in March. April saw a swift return to full employment. By May, he had eradicated homelessness in the 34 states, still under White House control after the bitter, bitter Civil War of 1986. June 1st and marked the return of the 16 progenital states. By the middle of his first year in office, America had a vibrant economy, a happy population, and the president was an unprecedented approval rating of 100%. But he wasn't doing this for the people. Lex Luthor couldn't stand the people. Like everything else in his miserable life, this was just the first stage of a master plan to finally eliminate me. Wow, in one year he fixed everything. And it sounds kind of like communistic. It sounds like, you know what I mean? It is. I know know you've got some attention to these silly old newspaper offices, Lois, but you must uh, admit the globe ruins, uh, ruins an otherwise magnificent skyline. Tearing down the obsolete and replacing it with something better is just the natural order of things, dear sister. So that's Lucy. Oh, maybe you're right, Lucy. But it isn't it odd how Lex managed to save every other business in the country except the one I used to work for? Why well, resurrect the Metropolis Eagle but give the Daily Planet an execution order? Isn't he being deliberately cruel? Of course not, darling. What possible reason would Lex ever have to intentionally hurting his own wife? Because he knows I love this newspaper with all my heart. And he can't stand the idea of me loving anything except him. Oh, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Lex was just and just likes to surround himself with people he can trust. And your responsibilities as first lady eclipse whatever little trophies you picked up as a newspaper editor. Have you forgotten what it was like before Lex and Jimmy won the White House? I was from Fredman Lois Friedman Lois. There were tanks on Fifth Avenue, people killing each other for food. Don't flake out him out him now that we finally have some solid ground to fight Superman and the Soviets on. You know the country always comes first, Lucy, but I hate the way he thinks he can just manipulate us like we're pieces on one of his stupid chessboards. <laughs> Sometimes he, and when he's cr- uh, drawing charts across our bedroom wall, I see our names in little boxes. I wonder if this big plan to beat Superman is really in the world's best interest. Superman might be a nut with a messiah complex, but don't you think we're in danger of just replacing one demi and uh, demigod for another? Very possible, darling. But at least Lex Luthor is a demigod who speaks English. (laughs) Wow!
Wow. Don't care how the person is, just as long as he speaks English. So what makes you think he'll invade us? Because Superman is sick, totalitarian control freak, Jimmy. And for the first time in his life, things are going wrong. His plans for global domination hinge on America's complete collapse by midnight tonight. But my genius has delivered our strongest economy since 1776. Okay, I think that's a that's that's not a good example. No, not at all. Invasion is the only realistic option he has left if he's serious about his perfect world as he always talks about. But the second he invades, we're a mashed potato slacks. All our little CIA-funded toys you used to throw at him in the good old days didn't even ruffle his spit curl. What makes you think we, you can go ahead and go head to head with a guy now that he's more solar charged than ever? I in, in, I gotta say, I like how he still has his wedding ring. Still, say what you yeah. about Lex. He's still committed to Lois to a degree. To a I, degree, I mean, he's not cheating on her like in uh, physical form, but his work consumes yeah, his mind. So, yeah, in a way, he's cheating on her with Superman. It's exactly right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. The about superiority complex. He admits it. Olsen, now shut up and take a deep breath. What, where are we? Purgatory, limbo, call it whatever you were raised to believe. I myself refer to it as the Phantom Zone. Uh -huh. This is where we can talk outside the limits of superheroing and work beyond the range of those eerie cobalt eyes. I don't believe it. You figured out the code to recharge the Green Lantern ring, and you didn't even tell me? It took 18 years to crack, to crack that 24-word combination, but it was worth every picosecond, Jimmy. Codename Greenlight is the best hope we've had in almost half a century of knocking that big latex circuit freaks on his indestructible backside. Oh, now, this man. is Hal Jordan, who, okay. during the um, in 1983, during stuff in the South Pacific, he was captured. Norman Man would have driven mine, but he lasted four years. How? Because he, in his own mind, he actually he filled his agonizing long days by building a virtual concentration gap in his head. Basically, he spent weeks composite, composing a design. Then after selecting precisely the right spot in his own hometown, started building the place in real time. Again, all this is in his mind. If he took three days to dig the foundation, he would spend three days imagining every single step. Wow. If he would take a week to install the gas pipes, he spent exactly 168 hours making sure everything was perfect and even stopped for coffee breaks. By 1987, he had constructed something the size of a football stadium. To do what? To mentally execute each and every one of his captors during what he described as the most joyous night of his life. <laughs> Under the correct circumstances, I believe that Colonel Jordan has what it takes to bring down super and bring Superman down himself. So, in other words, all this was just to keep his mind from snapping until he was rescued finally. Oh man! Well, you had to go someplace instead of taking that torture. Yeah, and I can say that's actually interesting. But yeah, now, now of course. Lois goes to Diana and is asking them to join. To which Lo and Wonder Woman is Diana is willed and willing to help for obvious reasons. Yeah. To make sure wow. Luther has his support. On, Why did you come here, Mrs. Luther? And I don't want to hear your excuse about a diplomatic visit from the First Lady on behalf of the Wonder Woman of America. Why are you really here? To make sure Lex has your support when he launches his big attack on Superman inside the next 24 hours. Stalingrad. And we lost the Opera House, the Olympic Stadium, 40 and 40 and or 50 apartment blocks, and God knows how many killed before we killed it, Superman. Uh, and where and we were, and where were you? It's difficult enough to maintain some kind of order in this place without handling problems like this. You're supposed to check the filters every 24 hours. Basically, a microscopic organism made its way into Stalingrad, like a flea. A flea. Yeah. Wow. That's so he decides he's going to keep on eyeing it more often. How could you do this, Brainiac? What kind of monster would trap an entire civilization in a sample jar? It's the most grotesque thing I've ever seen. Forgive me, uh, Superman, but I disagree with your assertion. I care for these cultures and tend to every requirement to survive as a species. You can't blame an alien supercomputer for storing information. All I was doing was following my original prime directive, but you took away what made them human. And there's ne that's never an excuse for that. Brainiac, failing to regrow these people has been the bl and black spot of my career. Hmm. Huh. Bottling a city and then keep him under control, but, you know, unhappy. It's, Sound it's not familiar? The, yeah, it's not the same way as putting stuff on their brain to make them... Yeah, again, we'll, not get, so, to that. Yeah. we'll get to that. <laughs> Perhaps our biggest concern at the moment should be the events in North America. There's, and this is no longer a case of one corner of the world where things didn't go to plan. The newly united states 
have now posed a threat to everything you have ever accomplished, Superman. This is Luther's ultimate death trap. He spent almost two decades formulating this single assault out, and my evidence suggests that things will be coming to a head shortly. Any recommendations? Strike first, eliminate his power base, execute Luther, and complete the mission you started half a century ago. A perfect world is only hours away if you're brave enough to, gra to grasp this Superman. But I don't want to invade them, Brainiac. Everything I've accomplished so far, I've done by winning the argument. I could have had my utopia overnight if, I, if I'd hammered the world into submission with my fists. But America is like a cancer, super, and that's how Superman. You can either act now and surgically remove it, or step back and let it destroy the rest of the body. It's a choice that only you can make, comrade. Let me see some numbers. If we attack now, I estimate a total of only 6.5 million dead in a conflict lasting more than eight hours. However, every certain minutes you delay, the decision will approximately double the variables involved in fall. Time is clearly of the essence. Unless, of course, you surrender immediately and drop the estimated fatalities to, against, to an aging Kryptonian dis, uh, despot and his cringing robotic manslave. Loser! Congratulations, Superman. You've su successfully identified one of the two most famous faces on terra firma. <laughs> In brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's light, they duplicated the ring. That's awesome. How did you find, get the, and pass the palace defenses? Uh, defenses? Oh, I thought and those were just decorations for some cheap Russian folk festival. Well, this is yeah. where your famous winter palace, eh? It's hardly surprising you haven't had a date in decades. Tell me. Is it true that you and Brainiac spend every night of the week playing chess to stalemate until one of you breaks down and starts sobbing for mother? What are you doing here, Luther? I thought you'd be busy priming your ultimate weapon for the big attack. Wonder Woman and the Green Lantern Marine Corps. Oh, and, oh, they're good, Superman, but they're hardly the basis of my assault upon your evil empire. I came here to fight you on my own terms, Man of Steel. Are you ready to lock horns with the most dangerous mind in the world? Uh oh. Brainiac, what the hell are you doing? Something you should have done many years ago, Superman. Luther simply must be t and turned into a Superman mo robot like we did with all the other troublemakers over the years. I couldn't allow him to debate with you, Superman. Entering a conversation with a level nine intelligence, it's more dangerous than any death trap. My calculations were that he could have talked you into suicide within 14 minutes. So that's how this is. Whoa. That. So that's it. This is how it all ends. No, there's still the matter of the American forces preparing to attack Superman, but the decision is now quite simple. Do you meet aggression with aggression, or do you allow these and these people to take apart everything you've ever accomplished? So who's Lantern, really in? What? Who's really in charge, Superman or Brainiac? I mean, God. Well, to be fair, Superman feels like his hands being forced. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But yeah, I damn you for making me do this, Luther. Damn you to hell. Because it's also Lex who's goading him, too. Oh, yeah. Um, and stay cool, gentlemen. Be, don't be intimidated. This is exactly what we train for. Like hell it is, sir. He's going to kill us all. These two, uh, they start. Remember that it's not in President's design, boys. This has to be a box within a box within an infinite number of boxes. Each <laughs> layer should be one micro and microton thin, so the entire structure is impossible to breach. I can't hold it, sir. My mind's starting to wandering, and I'm thinking about a toy show I watched as a kid. So fight your left and count to ten, Gardner. Oh, guy, it doesn't matter what he's hit and hitting with. With you, and you freak out now, and they'll be sipping vodka in the Pentagon by sound down, soldier. Oh my God, take a fresh picture. Think pit fresh. Uh, a thought-based weapon against someone who can move at ten times the speed of thought. Not too smart, Colonel Jordan. He took all their rings. Now stay here uh, and make uh, 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 all comrades. I'll be back in an hour to reprogram everyone. Guns control the Wonder Woman. The Green Lantern Marine Corps have been neutralized. I repeat, they've been neutralized. Are you ready to engage? Ready and willing, Commander. Don't make me do this, Diana. I don't want to hurt you, but I will oh, if you man. have to. Ah, your choice, Princess. Diana, no! He's crucifying the Amazons and the Brainiac ship has disabled 90% of our fle fleet in the Pacific in a matter of minutes. What have we got to lose? Release all those supervillains Lucas created over the years. Uh, Thomas Gall, Doomsday, Livewire. Wow. I know. So they fall back. Brainiac is attacking. Lois, forget the plan. It doesn't matter anymore. We've got to get and, and just get out of here. You said it yourself, Lucy. Lex Luthor doesn't make mistakes, and he isn't going to make one now. I hope. I'm going to have to ask you to evacuate the area, Mrs. Luthor. 
I respect the fact that you're taking a stand like this, but we're destroying everything within a five-mile radius of the Pentagon, and I don't want anyone hurt. I'm sorry, Superman, but this is my home, and I'm not budging an inch. Inch. I don't think you understand, ma'am. Your Air Force has been neutralized, and your super people have been scattered to the winds. America is finished. I'm, af I'm afraid you don't have anything left to hit me with. Actually, we still have one shell left in our arsenal, Superman. If you think I'm kidding, just look at the letter in my pocket. With great respect, Mr. Luther, I hardly think a brown manila envelope is going to stop me in my tracks, even if it does have a presidential seal. What am I doing? <laughs> Well, they say the pen is mightier than the sword, Lois, so I'm distilling everything Superman hates and fears about himself into a single sentence. He might shrug off a nuclear strike, but I guarantee this is going to strike that flame-proof heart of his. Mm. Of course, what he said, he talked you into suicide. Yeah. Superman, are you yeah. okay? Oh, my God. What have I done? All I wanted was to put an end to all the wars and famine. I only wanted what was best for everyone. You've got to believe me. What the hell was in this letter? Why don't you just put the whole world in a bottle, Superman? Wow. Damn! Wow. That's Superman. messed up. Superman, you appear to be distressed. What's wrong? I am, I'm just as bad as you were, Brainiac. I'm just another alien bowling a less developed species, and it's morally unjustifiable. Switch off your weapons, comrade. We're going home. But you can't stop now. When you're on the brink of utopia, Superman, denying them perfection is more morally corrupt than enforcing it. At least leaving them alone means they can make their own mistakes again, comrade. Luce is right. This isn't how the world was meant to be. We weren't born here, and we have no right to interfere. And that is your final decision? Is there nothing I can say which might change your mind on this matter? Nothing, Brainiac. Absolutely nothing. Well, I'm afraid that's just unacceptable, Man of Steel. Duh! Did you really think you reprogrammed me, little thing? A level 12 intelligence? Did you really think I couldn't outmaneuver those clumsy human finger fingers? A notion is, the notion is preposterous. Help, help, for God's sake, someone help him. I wasn't under your command. You were under mine, Superman. Expanding, <laughs> consuming country by country until an entire world uh, um, ran to my ideals. Such a shame that you won't be alive to see the work complete. To see the work continue planet by planet until the entire universe uh, hums under my battery. Don't die calling me a monster, Superman. It is important that you realize you and I are exactly the same kind of creatures. <laughs> what happened to the power? Cut off by those clumsy human fingers, he said he was adapted out maneuvering, dear Lois. Letting me into the heart of this thing was his first mistake, darling. But the big one was underestimating the resourcefulness of the human mind. Your move, Superman. Wow. Nice of you to save the CPU before you squashed him, alien. But will you now have the decency to leave Earth now that you realize what a sociological disaster you've been causing? First, I plan to bury this in the Sea of Tranquility, Luther. Then we can figure out whether or not I can safely stay behind on planet Earth. 59 seconds to detonation. What? 57 seconds. Oh my god, he must have had a self-destruct mechanism encoded in the hard drive in case something like this ever happened. Six mini black holes that were powering the engine have been primed to go off. Uh, what are you going to do, Superman? What do you think, Luther? But power on this level is going to be unleashed. It's going to wipe out everything in 50 million mile radius. Even you aren't that fast. Don't count on it, mister. What's going on here? Something wonderful, Jimmy. Lex, I know you're not going to hear this message after for a while or even see the explosion until the light reaches you. But there's something I have to say before I go. Well played, old friend. Superman gone, Brainiac gone. The world ready to embrace Lutherism even more readily than ever before. One could almost be forgiven for thinking that this had all been worked out to the tenth decimal point 40 years ago. Checkmate, Superman. Wow. For the first time in human history, the world had tasted death, and so they gloried in their triumph, as excited by Superman's defeat as they were by Brainiac. Lex Luthor and Jimmy Olsen won a landslide victory in 2004, re-elected to that White House with a staggering 101% of the vote. To this oh day, the mathematicians are baffled by the result. Everyone a little too superstitious to bring the figure on a computer era, uh, error. Freed from Superman's all-seeing eyes, the Soviet U Empire descended into chaos for a while until the Batman reappeared and brought justice to the streets again. Within six months, Luther was running their economy. Within a year, even Moscow had signed up with his global United States. Setting up the a home in the Winter Palace, he combined his own ideas with notes from the archives created by a brand new style of government, unlike anything we've ever seen. 
I almost hate to admit it, but Superman and Brainiac actually had some good ideas here, boys. Cancer was gone before too long. AIDS consigned to the history books. Diabetes, blindness, and every inherited form of illness was eradicated by a man who invented a pill, which meant human beings didn't even need to sleep anymore. By his wow. 75th birthday, Luther retired the conventional politicians and created a one-world government composed of artists, writers, philosophers, and scientists. By the age of 120, the entire solar system had been colonized. The triple had replaced the couple, and the average man would live an incredible 800 years. On the cusp of the fourth millennium, as he lay dying in his cryo chamber with his dear wife beside him, um, he was asked by news bots of his greatest accomplishment. His answer was simple. He whispered, replying without a moment hesitation, defeating the alien, my boy. What impossible world could, po- and what in the world could possibly compare with saving my people from Superman? And with a smile on his face, Dr. Lex Luthor died. Metropolis was Whoa. where he was born and where he was asked to be laid to rest in a geometric maze of his own design. The city was renamed Lexor after 500 years er- earlier, I mean, over 500 years earlier, but you could still recognize some of the old landmarks like the Metropolis Tower or the Daily Planet Building. <laughs> I thought for a moment that his widow might recognize me at the funeral. Would she see through the glasses and the dark blue suit of the disguise I created? Blue's Lane after, was, after all, a Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist. What's up, Mom? You okay? It's fine, Albert. Absolutely fine. I just had the strangest sense of deja vu for a moment. But, much to my surprise, she didn't. Not even for a second. In many ways, <laughs> men really did die in the outer reaches of the solar system all those centuries ago. Luther may have dropped the decimal point when he calculated my density, but he successfully made me realize that the human race would thrive without me. Now, before I go further, I want you to realize something. Except for one time mentioning it, what traits have not been brought up during this? What traits? What details of Superman's history, except for one time of loser mentioning, ignoring that. We've had the red solar energy, but yes. what have we not had? Yellow sun? No. Kryptonite. What? Oh, yeah. No, we you're right. Had, except for one time, we've had no mention of Krypton. You're right. At all. And, Dropping and, that oh. one time, he called him a Kryptonian. Dropping that one time. But Why? We're getting to that. Okay. For the first time I could sit back and uh, see the wonders of the world through human eyes and appreciate a resourcefulness that I have failed to give them credit for. Mankind evolved to become the most advanced species in the known universe, inspired and led by a billion years of Luther lineage. Lena Luther, the artist Lumbar, and the artist Lumbar Luther, the Imagineer Laurie Luce 145, the mathematician Jordan Luce 1938, a pioneering necronaut and first man to step foot in the afterlife. Alex L, Jordan L, Lana L, and of course, Lex Luthor's greatest grandson to the power 50, a young man named Jor L. <laughs> I figured that up even his beloved ancestor, but he's been acting strange lately, working too hard and telling the world that our bright red sun that has dimmed my powers and aged my mind is in danger of consuming us. Could he be right, I wonder? Or is this the first time in countless years that a suit Luthor has made a mistake? Idiots, we're covered by idiots, Laura. What happened, jor Did the Science Council war- and listen to your warnings? Listen, those ad- oversatisfied fools didn't even look at my readings. I give them firm, substantial evidence, and that Earth is on the brink of a collapse into our own sun, and they tell me the planet's merely shifting its orbits. It's almost like they've di- and they've nothing left to do but die. But I refuse to let their emptiness bring any harm to you, my little Kal-El. Why should you have the suburb for being born into a world with nothing left to conquer? Ah, uh, shit. Do you really have to send them so far back, jor The suns and rays were yellow in those days. They're people weak and primitive. We're going to be so different from everyone. But he'll be strong. He'll be fast. He'll be virtually indestructible. And he'll need these advantages to survive, my darling. Goodbye, my son. Go back and change the world so that we might not become this cold, complacent lot. Go back and bring a little light to our lives again. The Ukraine, Russia, 1938. Oh man! So so cool. I really liked it. Oh, that was great. See what I mean, though. That Superman was never fully the bad guy. This was not black and white. America, good. Communist, evil. It's like no. He's still Superman through and through. From the beginning, he was until the end. He was Superman. Even even at the end. Even at the end, Brainiac and Luther forced it. 
Oh, yeah, and to control the minds of the people wasn't really him. It was what he thought he had to do. So and exactly. it's all Brainiac whispering into his ear. So. Yeah, but even the Brain Superman robots were clearly before Brainiac. Because remember, you saw one of them right after he grabbed Brainiac. So that was his own doing. Yeah, you're totally right on that, yeah. I but didn't yeah, catch but, that. Yeah, but overall, this was such an amazing story. Because it tells you, Millar knows Superman. He does. He made the Superman the good, the good person good and like you guys always say, you interest in everything, you know, a Superman story may, has to make you feel good in the end. Yeah. That's just exactly what that did. It, 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 it was awesome. It was, but that twist at the end. That twist was something else. That was really, Man, really he's cool. He's a Luther. Yeah. He's a Luther. jor All along. He was a Luther. And that's, 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 that's why he started playing chess. That's, that's why he started yeah, that's 4D chess right there. <laughs> that is. That was a brilliant twist. But again, why did one point did what he called a Kryptonian? But if you know that one other point, Brainiac said clumsy human fingers from the, the Superman. You're right. He human did human fingers. That's so cool. That's really yep, cool. Again. I would have never paid attention to that before. Yep. Again, the fact that Luther called him a Kryptonian at one point that was. Mm, I think that was a, a hiccup. I think no one, someone should have caught that. Yeah, you would think so because it, you're right. It, it wasn't. Yeah, no, it wasn't only, in there the whole time. His only weakness was red solar energy. Never yeah. was there kryptonite anywhere. Normally, there would have been kryptonite, but never kryptonite anywhere in the story. That's what Batman would have prepped for: was kryptonite, kryptonite this, kryptonite that. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and you're right; it wasn't brought up. That's, yeah, that's just the crazy. red solar energy. But again, just and like I said, was Wonder Woman here? You feel bad for her. You feel bad for her right from the beginning when he just it's He's like oblivious. Yeah, yeah, and then she gave up everything for him. He didn't care. And, yep, and Lois, I love Lois in this story. This is a great, Lo this is a different Lois, too, though. This is a Lois who's a reporter, but we don't see the reporter side. We just see Lois the woman. That's exactly right, but in her mind, she still knows who her soulmate is and still dreams about him, even though she he's had no, nothing to do with him. Yeah, and he's doing all this stuff that she knows is like, we're meant to be, but at the same time, she sticks with Lucifer because where else has she got to go? She exactly. Else when uh, the further Lex is falling down, but again, she and Luther later have a kid and everything, so it tells you that they're still good and Luther. Even though Luther, again, he goes from being this unrealized, self-indulgent genius to well, he's the one who causes the entire world to change. Even though basically it's communism again without Superman. That's exactly right, you know. And right everybody, now everyone embraced it. Yeah, and everybody's born pretty much good, you know. You you pretty much mm -hmm. learn to be bad, and that's exactly what he did. He, his brain couldn't take it. Exactly. That's why he eventually, um, again, that's why it took the copy, the the Bizarro Superman, to make to break down any goodwill he had. Yeah. But even that, the fact is, in the end, he became he was always the selfish a ass. Let's be honest. Yeah. Yeah. Very much so. Yeah, very condescending and pretentious. Even Lois only had a kid, so his lineage can continue. Let's be honest. Yeah, that's all they did it for, and and to have uh, your offspring, but ended up being Jor El. That's so cool. Well, that was way down the line, but yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The lineage of. Yeah, but that again, that twist was phenomenal. But and Brainiac was Brainiac, and Batman. I gotta say, this is one of those kids where borderline between being Batman and Batman in name only. To exactly. Degree, yeah. Because he's still willing to. He was willing not not to kill, but. Well, no, wanting to do terroristic acts, something Batman would never do, but you have no choice but to do here. So, yeah, you're raised up in that, you know. Batman cannot kill, but if he was raised in communist Russia, you know what I mean, he may have killed. You know, you just he never may know. have killed. Yes, and he felt, and again, the reason why he didn't kill Batman, Superman, was because he felt this would be much worse without him. Yeah, yes. without him, just keeping him down there so he can live in, you know, um, just destitute. That's right, because without him, I mean, the world would go to crap just like it has. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you have to be that he's still there, locked away. You couldn't say like, "This is your uh, your leader." Basically, using him more as a message and not a martyr. Exactly. Exactly. So, but um, but again, everything worked. The only problem, big problem, was Jimmy. Jimmy just wasn't Jimmy. It was so, you could put someone else there. Pete Ross would have been better than Jimmy. Yeah, you're right. But well, I, think I, Pietro, I think Pietro's supposed to be Pete Ross. You think so? Pietro Ross and Rostovin? You're totally right. Yeah. Details, think, man. The, the the answer's in the details. Yeah. So I think that's the reason why they went with Jimmy. They had no one else. 
That's probably right. And I, that's why I think that Zack Snyder may have read this book before he wrote oh, the he totally movie because stuff from this, but he missed everything. Oh, he missed everything that was good about this, but he, he took the parts. Well, that he thought, more. Yeah. Oh yeah. It was like the end of injustice. Was it was one or two were Brainiacs, the Brainiac Superman where two. he was. Yeah. Two where he had all those on them, you know, that's exactly. That's, but I gotta say this, this Superman, he's not in justice Superman. Justice Superman. I hate to say this when you, especially when you look at some of the writing there injustice Superman was a bad man who didn't real, he wasn't given the excuse to do it. It's like exactly. you look at some of his actions. He's wanted to become a tyrant, but because of his upbringing, he had these mental blocks that prevented it. Yeah. I mean, he killed Shazam within five minutes. I mean, that's all yeah. it was, you know what I mean? This Superman was... would never have done that. Never. No, no. Superman doesn't do that. That's the thing. Yeah. But that's Superman because and especially even when now Tom Taylor, when he wrote Injustice Year Zero, now he's playing off of what's come. He actually had a point where Superman was talking to Lois, feeling almost like she even says, "You, ch- I don't want you to just take control of my life." Yeah, exactly. So she that, even then, he almost was there until she died, and then he just it cut him loose. Yep, that's exactly what it was, and it's just like anything else. It was something that, even though he's from a different planet, his brain is still there, and brains can only take so much. Yeah, and again, this is and this Superman is basically in just Superman is if Brain and Superman saw that message from Lucer and decided I'm gonna triple down. That's exactly right. <laughs> That's what it is. Where this Superman at least had the the fortitude to be like, oh God, this isn't what I wanted. This isn't what I wanted. Yeah, it, it took him a while to figure that out, but then again, yeah. it's he gets a the chance to start over. That's that's so exactly cool. now. If they had just and if I did like how he's like, I must wait until they collapse. That's Superman. That's what makes him different from everyone else. He's a guy who's basically like, I will sit back and wait for them to fail. Then I can clean out, so clean things up. Yeah, there's no sense of going in there and using force and killing yeah, and all this take, other stuff. Take it over it because people will embrace it more. That's exactly right. Everybody's looking for a savior or something like that. Exactly. And that, but again, you're always going to have dissidents. There are always going to have people who are going to push back, and that's hence the Superman robots. That's exactly right. That's it, that's where he has to take control of it, because if not, there's going to be an uprising against him. Exactly, and it would mean more people would get hurt. That's right. So was he doing a good job or a good thing, or was he con- trying to control him? You know, that, that's your the way that you think yeah. about it. Now, was Luther a hypocrite in the end? Oh, hell yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He was Luth- a huge hypocrite. Oh, yes. Luther Luther in anything, it seems like, is a huge hip- hypocrite. But here we actually see a Luther who has solved every problem, not as Superman's gone. Yeah, he, he, so I don't think he was bad, per se. I just think he his mind, he needed something to, he just needed to be the controller of everything. Exactly. And not only that, though, but I say the fact that he said this was worked out to a decimal point 40 years ago, I think that means around the time when he had Brainiac. He planned his house entirely once Brainiac was involved. Yeah, like I said, 4D chess. You always yeah. keep like 10 moves ahead. Knew. I think he knew. Superman would think he would control Brainiac and that Brainiac would influence him. I think Luther knew that since Stalingrad got well, bottled. Well, they said Luther was a level nine, uh, and what, so, smartness, and, and Brainiac was a 12. So that's only two points. We don't know what points. Superman was. We have no Exa- idea what, yeah. Exactly. So, you know, Superman may have been a 14 or he may have been a six. You just never no, know. No, I think he was a 10. I think Superman was a 10. You think so? I do think so because he has shown he has just as much of a genius mind and enough to be on par with Luther. I mean, come on, the, the imperfect duplicate beat Luther at chess. That's right. And, but Superman, and it was referenced as Superman and Brainiac, n- neither of them would win. They would go exactly. to a stalemate. Although that could be Brainiac holding back for all we know. Exactly. That's why I say a 10 and not a 12 or whatever, because he's above Luther, but beneath Brainiac. Well, that's why I like this is because it's your own perspective uh, or your perception yeah. of what it is. And I, I think it's really cool. It's good yeah. writing, good art, good everything on this book. Now, which of the artwork did you prefer, Plunkett ah. or Johnson? Because you could tell the difference. You could so tell the difference. I like. The, I, I'm. I'm sorry. I don't remember the name, but it was the uh, second okay. artist. Uh, Plunkett, because his one was where you have the more grittier details in the people's faces and all that. Yeah, yeah, I like that a lot better. Yeah, so did I. So did I. I kind of. I mean, Johnson is good, and it matched the you know the um, propaganda ness of the artwork, but Plunkett felt more traditional. Well, like, yeah, yes, it did. And then that first book, the first issue we went through when I asked you if the art changed, there no. was, it seemed like a different art style, but I liked her 
take on that or his take oh, hey, on that. Oh, no, I don't know. I think Kelly's a guy. Oh, okay. Let, let me double check. Kelly Plunkett is. Yep. Uh, no, oh, no. Uh, wait. Okay. Hold on. Comment. <laughs> I, I guess General <laughs> Kelly's popping up. Um, yep. Is no every time they don't they're not telling me who um oh wait oh man everything says in first person ah uh, oh come on oh Give well me... it does not it's, i don't know guy or girl because i Kill, guess like, Kill, oh killian plunk is their full name killian that might... so it's killian a guy or girl's name ah who yeah. cares yeah, that it doesn't matter e- either, either way. way. Whether Plunkett, Plunkett though is yeah, just as great of an artist. I think here's the thing. I think you need a Plunkett when things got more superhero-y. Yes, yeah, you really did for that 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 Johnson detail in the early point where it's more of a propaganda piece. Yeah, that's exactly right. And I love the you know the the scenes, the fighting scene, the the action scenes with the fire. I love fire in this. I love yep. when an artist can make fire look like it would burn you. I oh yeah, it. trust. I don't know if you ever saw my video on the um, Frank Miller's RoboCop, where the RoboCop, the artist for the Frank Miller's RoboCop two um, adaptation, his fire looked like jelly. Looked like it was like basically that artist was way too hyper detailed on everything. Are you serious? Well, what? When you get a chance, send me that video through an email. I that will. way I can check it out. I will. I will. It's one of the my earlier pro teachers noobs. But, well, I think we should wrap up here now. Thank you for joining me on this one, Hooded. And oh. this is, the next one's going to be my 100th. That's so cool. And I, I feel honored to be here, like I said. And this was really fun. And I wouldn't mind doing it again if you need somebody. Oh, I will reach out to you again, and um, because I, I I like to have some more of a rotating group. I can't always rely on Bianca all the time. Oh no, I, I get what you mean, and I was kind of nervous coming on here because I didn't know how to do this or whatever, and it ended up being really really fun, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, well, that's the whole point of it. I do most of the work, or you guys do a react. That sounds good to me, and it was yep. fun. Yep. So yeah, we'll I mean, we'll see you on the next one. As I, the next one will be. Going over Superman, Batman, Generations. That sounds good to me, Robert, and I can't wait, man. Yep. We'll see you all then. Take care. See you. Everybody, take care.